And now, in studio, bringing his Midwest values from the show me state to the land of San Diego. He's a triple threat, licensed as an attorney, mortgage broker, and a top producing realtor who's crushing the competition. Here to deliver you what's happening in the trenches of the market, your host, Michael Gaddis. Welcome to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170, The Answer. I am your host, Michael Gaddis of michaelgaddis.com and frontierloangroup.com. And I am here every Monday night at 7 p.m. to talk about anything and everything related to real estate. My special guest today is Monica Carabaya, who is here from Frontier Loan Group. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Michael, for having me. Well, you know, I want to start the show today just to first say that we are live on Facebook. This is the first time that we've ever done that, and uh, so I want to say hello to everybody who might be watching. This is uh, this show airs Monday at 7 p.m., but believe it or not, we're uh, recording it now. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. So anyway, Monica, I want to start the show by talking a little bit about loans and how difficult loans can be. And one of the things that recently we have kind of uh, dubbed ourselves is the loan are the loan doctors. Isn't that correct? That is correct, Michael. And why don't you tell everyone why we call ourselves the loan doctors? Well, for some reason we happen to get the difficult uh, loans and we come in and save the day. We get a lot of calls in our office with loans that have um, unique challenges uh, special circumstances and unfortunately have been declined or um, problematic in some way or another and we've been very successful with seeing them through and you actually coined us as the loan doctors because we come in and save the day. Something about triage that we get and you use that word often in the office and uh, Tell us about your triage. Well, we're, we're basically a triage. We're like an ER department for doctors, I mean for uh, loans. A lot of uh, agents around will call us when they're having trouble with their loans. Basically, you know, they have somebody in escrow, something's happened that's starting to fall out, and they give the file to us to try to resurrect, basically. So we have to look through to see if they're, what the obstacle was that the previous lender was having, and we have to try to find a way around that obstacle and get the job done in a short amount of time. And that's where, you know, it really comes in. Sure. You know, the talent comes in because you have to know your guidelines. You have to understand how, how different lenders work and how loans work. And not all lenders are created equal. I'm going to tell you that. I'll tell you that, Monica, and I'll tell everybody watching. Not all lenders are created equal. We have the ability to, to have, as brokers, we have affiliations with many different lenders. And in order to properly serve our clients, we have to understand the underwriting guidelines with each of these lenders. Each of them have different sets of rules yes. and different sets of procedures in place. And in order to really, really kind of service our clients, we have to understand those rules so that when we see a file, we can look through it and try to find out where the problem was and then try to place it with a, with a lender that might be able to address that problem better. You're absolutely right. It's like prescribing a prescription for your patient. I mean, we have to know our products and services and what lenders to take this file too because they specialize in this particular product and so we prescribe them the right lender and that's the benefit of using a broker. Well you're listening to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170 The Answer. I am your host Michael Gaddis of FrontierLoanGroup.com and we are here with Monica Carabayo and we are talking about the fact that we call ourselves loan doctors and I think that's a highly appropriate term because when people come to us usually, and I wish they came to us without, uh, obviously yeah. first, so it would make our lives easier. We didn't have, we weren't working under stress. We're not trying to figure out what to do under a two week time period before loan contingencies have to be released. But unfortunately, sometimes life thrusts special niches at you. And one of our niches is being able to pull things out of the fire. And that's what we do. And so that's what we're talking a little bit about today. And I think that one of the importance of uh, being able to do that, as I said, was understanding how loans work in itself. So let me give you an idea of what happens when a client comes to me. The first thing that happens when a client comes to me is I basically try to find ways that I could, I, if I were a lender, that I would destroy the file. I would turn it down. I try to find every objection that I possibly can to make sure that I have ways of overcoming those objections. So that's the first thing that I do in a file. Now, what happens a lot of times when people go get pre-qualified at a lender or pre-approved, 
a lot of times lenders will just run you through the automated DU system, get an approval and say, hey, let's go, let's, get, let's, let's take a chance at it. The problem is you have to really, really look through everything because you have to look at it like an underwriter does because loans are not easy. They're not like they used to be. They're, the pendulum between you know, the, before the housing crisis to now has completely swung to the other direction. So loans are very, very difficult to get now. And so what you have to do is you have to know what these underwriters are looking for. Where do they commonly have problems? You know, is it a payment shock issue? You know, is, it, is sourcing down payment funds? You know, is it length of employment? All of these things that a lot of loan officers overlook in their initial pre-qualification process we look at in the beginning yes. and that's what makes us really good when someone comes to us an agent or somebody else or even a borrower comes and says hey my deals falling apart I don't want to lose this house I'm in escrow I've got 10 days until my loan contingencies have to be removed what can you do for me and so what that's what we have to do we have to analyze their documents trying to find out what we can do to resurrect that file well, forecasting, I mean, that's exactly it. We do a forensic analysis of the file, and we forecast any problems that may arise, and we say, listen, this is what we need beforehand in case this happens, and that's why we're able to close in such a, a quick fashion. Well, and a lot of times some of my clients will say, oh, you're just a pessimist. No, I'm not a pessimist. What I am is I, I like to identify potential problems, and then, I, as I said, I address those problems. So it's one of those things where if it's a payment shock issue, then I make sure that you know whatever bank I end up sending you to, it's you know their payment shock provisions are in line with what you have. So it's not a matter of me trying to put a square peg in a round hole. I'm trying to put a round peg in a round hole, but it requires me to look at the file at a deeper with a with deeper uh, outlook than say somebody who just goes in and rolls in and just basically says, oh yeah, you just passed DU without really analyzing all the other stuff that comes up in the eleventh hour. Sure. How many times do you say, I told you so? No, I know, that's true. I'm all, that's it's one of the most frequently said sayings in my office, I told you so. Drives me bananas. It's, it, and it is. It's kind of like in football when you run your two-minute drill. It's kind of like, you know, you know with, with a regular football game, everybody goes and they play the game. But in the final two minutes of, the, of the, either the, of the, of the half, all of a sudden everybody puts it in the high-octane you know, high drive. And that's what we kind of do all the time. So we're constantly, because we know what problems arise at the 11th hour, so if we have a checklist that says, oh, we need to make sure and verify this problem, this problem, this problem, it makes it easier for us to get the file through and to know if we can do it or not. Because to be honest with you, I don't want to waste anybody's time running a file through if I know that it doesn't have a good chance of success. It just doesn't make sense. Especially when it comes to a dream of owning a home. No, it's true. And, and I'll tell you, a lot of people run out to direct lenders and, one, and direct lenders can be great, don't get me wrong, but they don't, a lot of times they're very rigid in their rules. And just because you don't get qualified at a direct lender does not mean you will not get qualified. So it's, it's, it's just because wholesale lenders have different types of, of requirements than direct lenders. And direct lenders have the luxury of picking and choosing exactly what they want. They want you to fit into a certain box. They want your ratios to be a certain place. They want everything to be right. And if there's anything that doesn't look right whatsoever, they have the luxury of kicking you to the side. And, you know, a lot of times that's where we pick up and say, just because, you know, this, this lender over here says no, doesn't mean that you cannot get this house. Absolutely. And unfortunately, so many people get turned down and then give up on that hope. No, it's, it's true. And it, and it can be extremely frustrating. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, when you, when you have to learn the guidelines, and I'll tell you something, it's really funny, uh, Will in our office too. Will is really good at reading investor guidelines, and he will stay up until two in the morning trying to find a, you know, fix a resolution, find a resolution to a problem. He'll find guidelines in either the VA, FHA, whatever it might be. He'll find that guideline, and he'll approach the underwriter the next day and say, did you know that this rule says this? And they'll say, well, I've never heard of that. He'll actually send them the actual text from the, the FHA or VA lending guide and say, look at it here. Now, you got to be real careful when you do that because underwriters are, you know, sometimes they have some sort of a God complex. You don't want to upset the, the, the underwriter so much. So you got to approach them a certain way. You can't come at them and say, hey, you're wrong. You, what you got to do is you got to come at them and say, hey, you know, I just happened to come across this. And did you happen to, have you seen this before? And uh, you just, there's a certain way to edge through there, political correctness, so to speak, when you do that. So. Absolutely. You know, it's funny, the misconception that we're pushing paper. I mean, we really have to analyze these cases and look at windows of opportunity and where we can get it done. I mean, just this last file that we closed, 
it's challenging. Nobody thought that it can get done. That's it right. got done. I mean, it got done, and, and it took a while. It wasn't your average, but we got it done. Well, I think a lot of people need to realize, too, that when people come to us in this type of situation, they are extremely stressed out. They are extremely worried. They're, they, they really, really are on the verge of either losing their house, losing their earnest money deposit. I mean, there's a lot of things at risk to them, not just financially, but emotionally, too. So when I call ourselves triage, that's really what we are. They come in wounded, and we send them out all patched up and hopefully, you know, with blood. So anyway, I want to thank everyone for listening to this first segment. We're going to come back in the next break, and we're going to talk about why millennials should be buying houses. Because right now, a lot of them are sitting down there renting, but they're making big mistakes. You're going to hear more about that after the break. You're listening to The Michael Gatta Show on AM 1170, The Answer.